Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you today to Kalangaman Island here off the coast of Leyte in the Philippines. I'm going to be giving you guys an everything you need to know travel guide about getting here, the island, and what you should do when you're here. Before we do anything, let's roll the intro. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Palumpon here in Leyte, the gateway to Kalangaman Island. We've just rented a car and driven it all the way here. I'm going to leave information down below on where you can rent a car for super cheap in Ormoc. So you can get and take a car here because it's the best way to get here. I'll leave that links down below in the description. But we're about to go to the highlight of being here on Leyte Island. You ready Brandon? Ready. Alright, so welcome to the Palumpon Tourism Office. This is where we're beginning our adventure here. We need to pay our fee first of all to enter the island. And then we're going to try to do this on a budget trip so you can basically join a boat that has people on it already or you can rent your own boat which will be a little more expensive we're trying to do it at the cheapest budget possible we have one of louis friends nelson who works around this area helping us out organizing everything but we're going to spend some time with kalangaman today and show you guys this island because it's literally one of the highlights of coming to late that people love this place so that's what we're heading off to right now 375 each okay. so here's the receipt we got for paying that 500 peso fee we're doing 375 each, uh, both ways, which is a really, really good price. All right, so we're following our boat guide right here. So it's 750 total, 375 each, both ways, which is a pretty solid price for an hour journey on a banca. And once again, we're doing the joiner journey where we're joining another boat that already has people on it. That way we can be more cost effective. If you want to just rent a whole banca, it's about 3,000 pesos. And there's no way to get around it making it cheaper because this is a lot of this is like government run tours and stuff. You don't need to try to get around it. We're just going to walk along this dock right here and join our boat. <laughs> are you ready, mate? I'm, I'm ready, ready, mate. Are we boarding now? We are. <laughs> so this is the banca. It's like an extra large uh, one that usually do island hopping with. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be waiting here until the boat fills up slowly and then we'll be able to bounce to Kalangaman. I'm not sure there's an exact time that we'll be leaving. Um, they just kind of try to capitalize on the many people coming in. But it's a it's a nice one. We got life vests and everything. If it, if it capsizes, you'll be all right. <laughs> all right, off we go. I was also told that going to Kalangaman early in the morning is the best time to see the island in its full natural element because apparently the sand changes during the day. I don't know, later on in the day it becomes a little less beautiful. It's super beautiful, but it becomes a little less beautiful later in the day. So we're going there. Bright and early at around 7 a.m. I think we'll be making it to the island. So we got about a 40 to one hour minute uh, boat ride now. We should be in the island. start seeing Kalangaman in the distance right now and it looks nice. It looks real nice. Alright, we're just pulling into the island right now. Look at that sandbank. That is the famous Kalangaman sandbank that kind of juts out. The water is just turned to this crystal clear blue. I'm so so excited for this island. It's gonna be great. Oh my god, you can see right to the bottom. Holy crap, dude. Oh, I want to swim around like a fish in here. I want to be a fish. Today I'm turning into a fish. I have not seen water this clear in a very, very long time. Look at that. You can see straight to the bottom with zero disruption. Thank you, boy. Sam boy, Kalangaman Island. This is actually amazing. I've seen this place in videos. Look at that thing. <laughs> this is gonna be really nice. This is one of the highlights of coming to Leyte and we're finally getting to explore this. And I'm so excited pulling in, you can just see the reef, how beautiful it is. So really this island doesn't have much other to offer other than just relaxation on the beach, a little bit of snorkeling, maybe a little bit of food. Usually people bring their own lunch, but we're gonna explore the crap out of it today. Show you guys the whole island and show you why you need to come here rush over here to Leyte before this place becomes a huge tourist hotspot. But look at that, it's pretty empty right now. Not that many people. I can see this place becoming a new garage. All 
right, so this, my friends, is the incredible sort of long sand bank of Kalangaman Island. It is such a long stretch. It just juts out into the ocean. We are now going to walk down into the sort of palms right there, put down our stuff in the shade, grab the snorkel mask, head into the water, finally see what is living under the water here at Kalangaman. All right, about to head in the water now. Already spotted a blue sea star or starfish right there. Try to move my body out of the shade. Look at that beautiful little sea star. Since we have only one mask, Brandon's gonna take a go now at uh, snorkeling. But reef on this side of the island, so this is the, I guess the eastern side of the island, or it's this side of the island, <laughs> the one with rocks. Uh, it has a proper reef, just like I guessed it would. Really, really nice reef. Lots of different species of fish. You got angel fish there, parrotfish, triggerfish, all kinds of really cool fish. And beautiful, beautiful specimens of coral. Like so many colors, super vibrant. The only thing is it's really shallow. And to avoid touching the reef, which you should never do, never touch the reef, I had to get out because it was just way too shallow. Um, so I'm gonna let Brandon get it go now, but I'm gonna tour you guys around the island in the meantime. I wanted to show you guys the facilities that exist here and what you can do while you're killing time if you're not swimming, flying your drone, or just walking around and enjoying the beauty. Here, we have a group of dressing rooms. It says dressing room only, but it does smell like pee in there, so I'm assuming people have been using the bathroom there. But you have, this is sort of like the main center of the island. You have a bunch of palm trees set up everywhere and nice shading here, so you can kind of chill. And there's these little cabanas set up that you can rent for the day. I don't know the prices of them. Once again, we're doing all this on a budget, so. Uh, we're trying not to spend much money, so I don't know how much that is, but you also have a medical station here and a restroom facility. Here you have the sort of entrance way to the island. This is a sort of plaque. It looks really, really old. And there's even like a written plaque here, but I can't really read it because it's been out here for a while. So when walking around here, you can choose to either walk the interior of the island or the exterior of the island. The exterior of the island is just beautiful white sprawling beach as far as it goes. And on the inside, it's just that palm forest. Um, the nice thing is for you to know, you can bring your own tent here, whether you're just lounging for the day. But if you do want to stay here overnight, it'll be 750 pesos per person if you're a foreigner. And I don't know how much for a local, but it's significantly cheaper. I think in like the 100 range. Um, but yeah, you can, you can sleep here overnight. They advise that you bring water and food with you, of course. But yeah, it's just an absolutely gorgeous view. We have a perfect day here today. It's just amazing. Just if I haven't hammered home already on the clarity of the water here, look at this. Look how amazingly clear. It's like, this is the stuff you see in all those cliche Philippines travel vlogs where the water is so crystal clear blue. You can see right to the bottom. And you know what? Thinking about it right here, there's actually a bunch of seagrass, which is like the favorite food of sea turtles. So it might not be too far-fetched to think there might be some sea turtles out of here. I know a lot of times in the Philippines, the places I found sea turtles have been on like isolated islands like this in the middle of the ocean. So there's a good chance that we might find some turtles out here. Some pawikan is what you call them in the Philippines. But look at this. I'm wading waist deep in the water right now and I can see perfectly clear to the bottom. Beautiful white sand beaches. It's just so good. So, so good. This island is incredible. This is a little look for you guys at what the sort of palm forest walkway looks like right through the center of the island. There's this beautiful path. Nice and shaded too. Under some palms. And this will take us to the other sand bank on the other side of the island, which is, in my opinion, just as beautiful as the one on the other side. But the other one is way more popular because it's a lot longer. But it is really, really beautiful either side you're on. And this one will most definitely have way less people because it's not the side you arrive on and it's not the side that really most people know. So here we go. The uh, sand path leads us to this open part right here. 
So this is still a little shaded. It's kind of like a copy of what's on the other side of the island, just a little bit smaller and way, way quieter. There's way less people here. Um, but it has the same sort of welcome signs. It's got a bunch of these little gazebos. These are smaller tents that you can rent. And they're kind of like all the way across the island here on this side. And of course, this is the reef I was just swimming in. You can see how far it stretches. So it goes all the way down. I was swimming somewhere around that area. But it comes all the way down here, this beautiful shallow reef up until that sandbank. All right, so right behind me here in the sort of accommodation area is the Kalangaman West Side Restaurant. They sort of have like a restaurant with benches here. I would assume that this thing is not operable right now. There's a lot of restorations right now from all the typhoons that have been hitting this area recently. So they're probably still repairing this because it doesn't look operational right now. But they also have paddle boards and glass bottom kayaks to rent. But of course, this is where we come out to the next sort of uh, sand bank here. So here you go. This is the, the next sand bank of the West Side of Kalangaman. And like I said, there are zero people here. The other sandbank people are walking back and forth, up and down. The second we got there, pretty much filled up. This side, it is empty. Once again, it's not as long. Maybe it's not as beautiful. But guys, if you're coming to this island already, and you're going to have a few hours to kill here, because you definitely will, don't spend all your time on one side of the island. Come explore the island. Walk through. It's only a five-minute walk to the side. And look at this sandbank you have. It's amazing. This might be the most beautiful island in my opinion, in the Philippines. I think the, just the quiet and the serenity of the beautiful white sand here, mixed with this just crystal clear see-through water, coral reefs, and the fact that it's relatively inexpensive to get here, it just makes it really, really incredible. And I cannot recommend this place enough. Just walking around, you'll find animals like this beautiful blue sea star right here, or even these sea urchins right here. All this is reef right here, this is all coral. It's pretty crazy too when you're walking around here. It kind of feels like you're walking around in a giant desert. These sandbanks are so big, especially this one. This sandbank on this side of the island is way fatter than the sandbank on the other side. So it just makes it look like it's a giant desert in the middle of the ocean, which is really, really cool. And also heard one of the benefits and one of the reasons to come here early in the morning the way we've done is because this doesn't stay up above water all day long. Um, I'm sure that during the tides, it depends how much of it is covered. I don't think the entire thing will go away but you might not have as much area here uh, later on in the day. So definitely if you're coming here, try to come early in the morning. And also, as you can see directly behind me, it's getting gray right now. Our nice day is going to turn into a rainy day very quick because the weather in the Philippines, specifically in this region, is extremely unpredictable. You will start the morning with hot, bright, sunny day and end it with a thunderstorm. So just be prepared for that type of weather when you are coming here. But try to come early in the morning, that way you don't have to deal with it. So here we are, my friends, the western tip of Kalangaman Island. That just means we walked the entirety, the whole length of Kalangaman Island here in Leyte. We've covered the whole thing, there's nothing left to see. And at the end here, we're treated by another beautiful shallow coral reef that I will head into here and see if we can find anything just from walking around. But that's it guys, that right there is all of Kalangaman Island behind me, stretching all the way to the island of Leyte over there and the island of Cebu somewhere over here. Just look at this, look at this, look at this water, ladies and gentlemen, look at all that. Tell me you don't wanna come here right now. I know you do. So when you come into the Philippines, come here so you don't miss this place, cause it's amazing. I had a long walk all the way back to that side of the island. Man, I brought myself out really far. And in addition on this side of the island, right next to the welcome sign, welcome you to the west side of the island and the sandbank, you actually have a tower you can climb here and get a nice vista view of this whole area. That is noise. You have a donation box. I highly recommend donating here to support them. I uh, don't have any money on me right now, though I don't have my wallet. I would do that though. And yeah, you get nice benches here. Nice place to just kind of chill out. You can kind of get an aerial view here of the reef. All right, so we just got out of that second little dive session. There's coconuts all over the trees here. Brandon and I love coconuts. So we're gonna try to get some coconut. I found the medical assistance people. They said they'll bring down a coconut for me or two coconuts for 200 pesos. So it's a little expensive, but it's coconut time. So now we have the monkey man. Monkey man's gonna go get me some buko. We've walked significantly further than I thought we would to get these coconuts. But it's all part of the adventure, right? We gotta get these coconuts. Monkey man's looking for coconuts. Monkey man, look at him go. All right, monkey man. Here he goes. Damn, no safety harness, nothing. Just climbed right up that tree. One coconut. <laughs> oh no, he dropped it in the tree. Okay, that's one. Two coconut. Nice. Salamat, monkey man. <laughs> wow, beautiful. 
Nice. You nice. drank a Filipino drink. Yeah. Directly. Thank you. Here's 200. I finally made it back to Brandon. <laughs> that was like a 15 minute walk. <laughs> Cheers, man. So this isn't really readily available on the island, but you can make it happen as long as you ask the medical guys. They'll help you out. Interesting looking coconuts. Mmm. It's good. I think the coconuts here are still not as sweet as the ones in Sri Lanka. Yeah. I'm still missing good. the Sri Lanka coconuts. These are weird, dude. This one looks like squish. It's flat. Yeah. <laughs> still good coconuts. Just still... Any coconut is a good coconut. That's why know. to end a tropical day. Yeah. With the coconut. All right, it is 12 o'clock. It's time for us to leave this island. Let's jump back on the boat and sail back to Palumpon, where we will take our rental car, which you guys haven't already checked out our sponsor of the rental car. Check them down below in the description, because if you're coming from Palumpon to this island, there is no better way to do it than taking a rental car yourself. You can drive, and especially if you split it with a few people, which you most likely will, it comes super cheap. Anyways, let's hit the high seas. Hey, it's more fun in the Philippines. Yeah. Hey, hey. Salamat, kuya. All right, it's time to board our boat. Ready to hit the high seas, Bramham? I'm ready, baby. Let's do it. Got a lot of electronics on me right now. <laughs> a lot of expensive stuff to drive. Oh, no. That was a close one. There we go. All right, almost lost the drone there. There we go. Oh, we did it. Boom. That was amazing. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. All right, we made it back. We are in Palumpon again. We're hungry. Also, I had left my glasses in a really stupid position while we were on that boat and somebody stepped on them and broke it. So I don't have any glasses. I'm kind of flawed now. <laughs> so Brandon's got to do the driving back in the rental car and uh, we're going to make our way back to Ormok and end this day there. All right, ice cream man hooking me up with some mango and pandan ice cream. Yeah, boy. Let's get this ice cream. Can you pay for me? <laughs> Mom? Pay for me to shoot your daughter? It's 25. What's pandan? Pandan is like this little soccer ball fruit they have in the Philippines. I don't know how to explain it. They eat it with coconut a lot. It's kind of like aloe vera. Mm. Oh my God, it's really good. Yeah, it's so good. All right, we made it back to our car, ladies and gentlemen. Ice cream was right in front of our car. Delicious ice cream, so good. Mm. We're gonna hop in this car. I will mention it once more. Link in the description down below. Support a local business if you're coming to this place anyways. And drive yourself. You don't need to deal with anybody taking you. Just drive yourself. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Huh? Thank you. ID? Tickets? So we definitely don't need ID again. <laughs> Thank you. All right, it is time to leave Ormok City en route to Cebu because we are heading off to Sinulog. We're gonna stay. We're gonna stay. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you? It's in your. It's in your head. Hey. Are you able to Yeah. Yes. Are we right at the front? No way. Actually? Yeah. That's pretty dope. If you saw my Sinulok video, you would know I had a fantastic time partying in Sinulok. I even got to catch up with my friends Eric and Allison from the Endless Adventure right before we traveled together to Mindanao to Shargao for the first time. But unfortunately for me, during Sinulok, I got my wallet stolen. <sighs> <laughs> More vlogs coming soon. Your Filipino word of the day today is stolen wallet. Really See you guys next one. Love you long time. Goodbye, class. Woo!